Esau Kwan, a directing member of the Evangelical Baptist Church and considered the right-hand man of former Semo Group head Yu Byung-un, was arrested yesterday. Yu Byung-un 전 Semo Group 회장의 최측근으로 알려진 금수원 상무 이석 권 씨가 어제 체포됐습니다. Minister of Foreign Affairs Yoon Byung-se said yesterday that Korea will use all measures available to counter Japan's reviews on the Kono statement. 윤병세 외교부 장관은 25일 일본의 고노담화 검증 보고서 발표와 관련 이번 보고서의 문제점에 대해 전방위적으로 대응해 나갈 것이라고 밝혔습니다. The Ministry of Land, Infrastructure and Transport announced that it will conduct a test run for a call taxi service in Incheon, Daejeon and Daegu through which a person can call 1333 nationwide to get a taxi, adding that the service will be expanded to other metropolitan areas by early next year. 국토교통부는 올해 전국 어디서나 전화로 1333만 누르면 콜택시를 이용할 수 있는 서비스를 다음 달부터 인천, 대구, 대전에서 시범 사업을 하고 내년 초 다른 광역시로 사업을 확대한다고 밝혔습니다. The U.S. National Transportation Safety Board reported that pilot error was the main cause for the crash landing of an Asiana Airlines passenger jet at the San Francisco International Airport in July of last year. 미국 국가교통안전위원회는 지난해 7월 미국 샌프란시스코 공항에서 일어난 아시아나 항공기 착륙 사고의 원인으로 조종사의 과실을 지목했습니다. The Ministry of Science, ICT and Future Planning announced that some 40 low-cost 3G and LTE plans, up to 50% cheaper than those provided by the three major telecoms, will be released simultaneously next month. 미래창조과학부는 네달 중에 이동통신 3사의 요금제보다 최대 50% 저렴한 알뜰폰 LTE 3G 상품 40여 종이 한꺼번에 출시될 예정이라고 발표했습니다. If you or someone you know is a stick in the mud, then listen up. This story is for you. The Bodyong Mud Festival has recently made a clean sweep of four categories at this year's Pinnacle Awards Korea. The festival was recognized for its outstanding television promotion, website, promotional brochure, and promotional poster. An organizer of the festival said the Bodyong Mud Festival has significantly helped promote South Korea overseas as it has been covered by several international news outlets including CNN. Have you ever wanted to pull the plug on your social media accounts? If so, then this story will be of particular interest to you. Several new companies in the U.S. have sprung up that offer to scrub users' social media profiles clean of embarrassing photos or comments. These kinds of services are expected to become increasingly important as more and more employers are looking at applicants' social media accounts when making hiring decisions.